So you'll see from the demo that I'm actually using a browser. Um, this is only really to keep my work email separated from the demonstration data that we're going to be using. And actually, it's probably a great time to say that Avero Mail works on all platforms. So that's uh, browser, it's Mac, Windows, Outlook app, and also Outlook Mobile. And it also works on Classic Outlook and also the new Outlook, as you'll see from my screen now. The first thing to show you is the immediate visibility of, what, of what's been filed inside of the project and what's not. So immediately as I come into here, I can see that there's, there are emails that have been filed in Avero and there's a green icon that represents that. Above that, there's a couple of emails that I'm going to look to try and file into, my, into the project. So by clicking on the email, what that then will do will bring up the Avero sidebar. Immediately, it takes me directly to my favorite projects. And from here, I can just go through in a couple of clicks, I can file that email. It's nice and easy, and I'll show you how that happens in a moment. In the middle, we also have all of the projects. So we've got favorite pro projects, and we've also got our um, full list of projects. So it could be that you have 20 projects that you were a member of, or it might be that you've got 50 or even 500 projects. All of those projects will show in this list, and you can use that search um, bar there to find that project just by typing in either the project reference number or code or of some of the, the name of the project. Once you've found that, you can then highlight them as one of your favorites, um, and then they will appear in the favorite bar there. On the right hand side, we also have some information about the, the, uh, the, the email after it's been filed, but this one has not yet been filed. So as we go into there, that will be blank. But if I go into one that I filed yesterday, you'll see that the information shows me that it's been filed into the into this particular project, um, that it's been filed the time and the date, who filed it, and also that any of the tags that have been filed against that. So I'm just gonna go back to that email that I'm gonna file. So let's go back again just to start. So I've come into here, I've come into my emails, I've looked, I can see that I've got some of them filed. I can see that I've got one here from Essan. Um, so what I want to do is go and file that because it's a project related email. I want my colleagues to be able to see that, but I also want to make sure that that is then being filed. So from here, what I'll then do is I'll go through and I'll choose the project that I want to file that into. So I click on the project and then what I then I'm able to then do is give an additional tag to this. These are tags that you as a, um, as a client will be able to choose. So your business will have your own tags inside of there. So once you've tagged the information with that, then file that email. It's now been filed directly into the project. Now, now that I've filed this email, the full email chain is going to be filed. So that's both future and also past emails that are in that chain. And that happens on both sent and received emails. So that means that from a couple of clicks, just to click here and then click onto the project and then add a tag, every single email related to that, um, that subject has now been filed all the way through into the future. And you can see now that that has now just been filed in Avero and it's been updated within there. Not only that, if there are other members of the project team, including the email, the first person files it for everyone, and then the remaining individuals will see that filed in Avero in their very own inbox. So if I filed this, um, and then some of my colleagues were also included on this email, when they go to their emails, they'll see filed in Avero because I've already done that. Using these two features together means full visibility of what's been filed into the project, and that really does help with reducing time spent. And additionally, Avero runs a process of deduplication. De it's easy for me to say that one. So effectively, what that means is that we go through and make sure that there's only one version of an email and the associated attachments that are filed. Um, so this deduplication is really important when searching for information. So Filing information is really only one part of email management. And actually the only reason that we file it is so that we can then quickly and effectively find them. And maybe that's because a colleague's gone on holiday. Maybe it's due to a claim or an information request in 10 years time. But whatever the reason, discovery needs to be fast, efficient, and also effective. 